Hey guys, welcome back to our YouTube tutorial series of PineScript. So in this video, we are going to go over PineScript basic syntax and we are also going to compare study versus strategy. So by the end of this video, you should be able to understand how a script is structured in PineScript and different number of versions that are available and the main differences between study and a strategy. So here we are in the trading view and we have the RSI open, the script for RSI opened. So let's understand the overview and structure of PineScript through this. So first of all, whenever we write a code in PineScript, we need to mention the which version we want to use. There are basically four versions available and these are not backward or forward compatible like our code that you written in uh, version 2 will not be compatible with the version 4 of the pine script and same goes the other way so we need to make sure that we always use the latest version when we write a code uh, you will come across some of the codes that are written by some other coders in pine script in version other versions like version 3 or 2 so there uh, in order to convert a version 3 code to version 4 an automatic button will appear here whenever you come across a version 3 pine script uh, by clicking on that button you will be able to convert that automatically to version 4 but this option is uh, unfortunately not available for version 2 and 1 so I would I would recommend you to always write your code in version 4 so first of all we need to mention which version we want to use after mentioning the version we will always need to put a study or a strategy annotation call so here this is since this is a relative strength index indicator that's that's why we are going to use a study annotation call but if we are working with some strategy we will give the stra uh, strategy call here so the second line or the second thing that we need to make sure is after the mentioning the version is mentioning Either we are going to do a study or strategy and giving it a, an appropriate title. And a study must contain at least one function or annotation call which produces some output on the chart. After study or strategy annotation call, there will be series of statements which implement the script's algorithm. So from here to up till here, these are some of the statements which will be implementing our script. And after that, a study must contain a function or annotation call which produces some output on the chart so here we are using the plot as our output function for this study that is relative strength index but for a strategy it must contain at least one strategy call like strategy entry so if we were doing study here we would need to mention that which position we want to take and uh, what do we want to execute but since we are using a study here we will only be plotting it to the chart and we will not be executing any uh, anything in our portfolio so now let's dive deeper into the comparison between study versus strategy in a study uh, it will always plot some information on the chart and as you can see here in the example of relative strength index it plotted this chart uh, this line on the chart and a study will always have some output that will appear on the chart and it will also contain some calculations that will help us to calculate what we want to plot on the chart and it cannot be used in the back testing of our strategy or anything like study is just an indicator you cannot actually use it for a back testing another thing that we should keep in mind is that study should not contain the strategy calls and basically the main function of studies is they are used to create alert conditions and they are used to create indicators that we can see just like rsi and there are a bunch of indicators uh, that are available here uh, these are used all using the pine script study call and some of them are also like the which one like this one it says bar up down strategy so this is basically a strategy call so now let's discuss about the strategy a strategy can plot information on the charts as well 
and it also contains some calculations now here's the difference as i mentioned earlier that a study cannot be used to backtest but a strategy is meant to backtest so whenever we want to backtest something uh, like we have some strategy we want to backtest we will be, need to use uh, do that by using a strategy call here and then put some our conditions and our information our functions here that we want to execute and a strategy must contain an output call which will enable the script to either generate buy or sell orders another thing is that you can create alerts using a strategy but they won't work like the compiler won't give you any errors but it will not give you any alerts as well so in, in order to create alerts you always need to go with the study and uh, if you want to test your strategy or do back testing you want to go with the strategy please make sure to hit the like button if you like this video and make sure to subscribe to get notified when we upload next videos on pine script and price action trading you can also visit our website www.forexp.co to learn the price action and pine script in detail and if you have any questions please write them down in the comments and we would love to answer them thank you